Hey guys, so you're probably wondering why I am barefaced. Also, the spot is annoying me. Today's video is kind of something I'm trying to look into the viewfinder. I do see your comments, I really do, but it just I just like to see that I'm in frame and just to see that everything's like happening on camera that needs to be happening on camera and I'm hoping that you guys don't feel like I'm, I'm not like appreciating you because I am. Anyway, today we're doing a skincare routine and usually I see people doing a division between like the morning one and the nighttime one but I think that's just such a boring video to do one video on morning and then one video on nighttime because they'll literally be two minutes long and I just don't think that's something you guys want to see. This spot isn't a good representation of what my skin usually looks like. Um, This was... I don't know what happened here and then I did pick it don't pick it that's probably like the number one thing I would say about skincare is like don't pick your spots and then you know do as I say not as I do because I have a problem uh, I also get some I don't know if it's like visible in videos when I'm wearing makeup but I do get some spots oh this lighting um, I do get some spots right here and not on the other side you're probably wondering why and it's because I always um when I'm on my bed and watching stuff on my TV, I always lay like this, and then obviously the dirt and the like greasiness from my hands, like sweat and stuff, um, gets hit, it like does a thing, and then I get spots. So this is my problem area, not because it's biologically my problem area, but it's because I force it to be my problem area. Same goes for this area right here, it's because I lean like this, so I always get spots right here, and then that's about it. I cleared up the texture on my forehead, which I did mention in one of my makeup videos, um, and you guys were wondering how I did that. I'll get into it. The products I'm going to use today are the furthest thing from affordable that I could possibly find, which is annoying because I do want to provide you guys with cheap alternatives, and I will, that's the thing, because I haven't always been using this product. I am just very much a perfectionist, so when I buy skincare products, I buy the whole range pretty much like from eye cream to serums to oils to face cream I like to buy it all from one brand and then just use that for a while and then just see which products I like I don't like using mismatched products a lot of the time it's just not something I do but I did use different products before that worked and cleared up everything so if like texture on your forehead or on your face is a, a, an issue I have more affordable products that I will put up on the screen just as alternatives to these expensive product i don't i'm not telling you guys to buy these because this is like pat mcgrath 2.0 my pat mcgrath video which is like you don't have to buy these products to have nice skin you really don't uh there are so many more affordable brands that still do all of this without all the like weird fancy ingredients that i don't know if they work or if they don't work i don't know if i'm being scammed or not but i hope i'm not so most of this is from drunk elephant if you've been on the skincare side of youtube you know drunk elephant is an expensive sister if you're wondering why my eye is so red on this side it's been like this for two days because i have migraines that react poorly to weather changes and when the weather changes the pressure changes and when the pressure changes my eyes get bloodshot so this is all just like air pressure i guess that like you can see it's like red here i'm sorry i can't do anything about it i really can't let me put on my lip balm i'm not going to take you guys to the bathroom with me because if i'm using a face wash it gets messy and I usually do that if I'm in the shower because then it's just not messy. In the morning, I will either just wash my face with water because I had already taken off my makeup in the evening before. So all that's on my face is just leftovers of my face stuff, like my face products. So I'll either just wash my face with water because my- oh, did I just flick myself in the eyelashes? Um, because my face runs kind of combination to dry on occasions i have like dry patches here and there but it's usually kind of combination so i'll be more oily in the center and then kind of dry every everywhere else so i try not to strip my face too much so i don't like to you know heavily cleanse my skin twice a day i'll just like wash it in the morning and then i'll take off my makeup in the evening if i'm wearing any makeup if not i'll just use a cleanser to get off like spf and sebum and those <laughs> wonderful things i'll usually use like a milky cleanser in the morning so i'm right now using the glossier milky cleanser which isn't good at taking off your makeup but it's good at just gently cleansing your face but that's about it that's that's all i did in the morning before i turned on the camera i washed my face and this is what my face looks like when it's just been washed without any skincare on it it's kind of like got somewhat of a glow to it right here which is my more oily area and then it's just kind of more dry here that's the tea and then in the morning i will literally use three pro no four products i will use an eye cream which is probably one of the most unnecessary things you can get mainly when it's this expensive do not if you are trying to do skincare on a budget, skip out on the eye cream. You don't need it. Just use your face cream under your eyes. Why am I using an eye cream? You tell me. This is the Drunk Elephant 
eye serum it's this one it's the one in the mint bottle you don't need it i'm telling you guys you don't need it put a little bit on i slap it on under my eyes but then again i do have like crazy eye bags um because well right now you can't really see them but maybe if i tilt my head up i don't know i've been sleeping a little bit longer lately um which means i get less done but i can um not have eye bags which is cool i use a face cream this is my second drunk elephant face cream i literally just finished this one which is the proteiny polypeptide cream which strengthens and moisturizes your skin it's this one i literally just finished it that's why it's like this it doesn't pump out anymore I love this packaging though because you can like mix all your stuff on here and mix it on here but I just finished this. This one is expensive and this one is just as expensive. So what I recommend is uh, The Ordinary. Everything I say you can find a substitute for it on The Ordinary from The Ordinary. I've used The Ordinary before. They have um, a face cream. You can buy like a big, like a big tube, squeezy tube. <laughs> Why can't I speak? And it's got hyaluronic acid in it straight away so you don't have to get a separate hyaluronic acid if you don't want to it's just in that face cream i'll put everything that i'm talking about on the screen because obviously i don't have it physically to hold up so i can't even remember the names instead of buying this this is the lala retro whipped cream it's rescue and recover with six rare african oils and ceramides and it's too expensive i love drunk elephant i really do i just think it's super expensive and i think most people that are not like that into skincare or just don't have the budget for it are not going to buy these so i'm just giving you guys alternatives so that you can um live your best skincare life on a budget i'm gonna use that i kind of like half pump it out see that and then what i will do is mix s vitamin c serum into it it looks like this and it smells like meat because most um potent vitamin c serums smell like meat which you kind of get used to after a while i used before this the vitamin c serum from glossier i'm just not sure if it did as much as this one this one is in an airtight and like opaque bottle so that it doesn't disrupt the vitamin c because vitamin c is unstable i believe it's like it, it gets disrupted by sunlight and air but the other one it was in like a dropper so air got into it and it was a clear bottle so i'm not sure how like potent that vitamin c was and i'm not sure how much it did but i did use that one and it i guess did things for me the ordinary will have a vitamin c i'm sure of it because they have everything and it's so affordable so then i mix these two together just on the little top and i slap it on my face I promise I'm being gentle with my skin. It just looks like I'm dragging it. I'm not. Ooh. And then I put a little bit on my neck, like just the leftovers. So I'm dripping this everywhere. It's my see is very like runny, so it's kind of difficult to control where it goes. A little bit on my neck, back of the hands. And then, because it's starting to get really sunny in the UK, I sometimes step outside. And if you guys don't didn't notice already, I am about the shade of this jumper pretty much. Like I am just slightly off from this jumper, which is white. And when I step outside, I burn within seconds. So sometimes my parents will be outside and I'll go to ask them a question, which will take about five minutes max at the most. And I will come back inside with red cheeks and a burnt scalp so what i do is i just apply spf and i call it a day this is i know some people don't like this one because it's a chemical sunscreen and people prefer physical sunscreens 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 but this one is clear which i like and it so it just looks like this it's the glossier invisible shield daily sunscreen and it has uvb and uva protection it's spf 30 and it's clear so it doesn't leave that weird white cast so this is probably very good for people of a darker skin tone than me because i know people struggle when like the sunscreen is very like white and thick it leaves like a gray cast if your skin's darker and that is my whole morning routine that's it that's all i do before i apply my makeup and then i just apply a priming moisturizer and i'll get on with my makeup you'll probably see this jumper in a lot of videos because i'm filming like four videos today it's a busy day because i didn't do anything yesterday so i'm trying to make up for it today so you're probably going to see this in the next video as well we'll just skip through to my nighttime routine which is a little more complicated it's more just moisturizing nourishing and then i'll go over like extra ingredients because the thing about skincare is when you first get into skincare you're like oh i'm so excited i'm gonna use all these products all at the same time and you end up having like a 15 product skincare routine which is unnecessary and just super expensive as well i keep my skincare routine very simple but that means i can like switch out products when my skin requires it so sometimes i'll have more texture on my skin or i'm starting to see like blackheads or whiteheads and then i think oh i need to like 
exfoliate more so i'll add in some retinol for a day or two or i'll just add in some more exfoliation and then sometimes my skin will be more dry and then i switch out exfoliation for a hydrating serum or something along those lines so i'll show you all of that in my nighttime routine because that one's more interesting than my morning routine my morning routine is very simple if you take out the eye cream you can literally do this in three products which is just face cream vitamin c and spf that's it that's all you do but let's skip to my nighttime routine which is obviously the more exciting part so i'll see you guys in a few hours probably like 12. um so yeah i thought i'd film this video a lot sooner in the day or in the evening it is currently 12 20 at night i'm gonna sneeze so I'm filming this semi-silently because there are actually people living normal lives in my house uh, that still want to wake up at a reasonable hour, so let's get into it. But as you can probably- oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. Oh, I hate fever season. My nose, the tip of my nose, is red and dry and crusty. Wonder why? Um, could it possibly be because uh, even though I put SPF on in the morning, as I clearly showed you guys in the clip we just watched together, um, I even wore makeup the last two days when I was outside in the sunlight and somehow my nose still got burnt, the tip of my nose, it's red, it hurts. I was wondering why it hurt, because I was like, what, what happened to my nose? Why does it hurt? And it turns out it got burnt, because I'm assuming, because of hay fever, I keep on rubbing my nose because it itches and then the makeup and the SPF get wiped off and my tip of the nose got burnt, so Rudolph. The red nose reindeer had a very shiny nose, as you can clearly tell. So, uh, before we get into things, obviously I didn't take you guys with me into the shower, because that's very up close and personal, but I did take off my makeup in the shower. I always do it in the shower because it's less messy, you don't get all the rundown through sleeves, onto the floor, on the sink, on the mirror, in front of the sink, I mean on top of the sink. So, what I wash my face with, I, I do the double cleanse method, I use the Drunk Elephant Cleansing Balm, which is actually their cheapest product they have. Then I go in with some kind of a cleanser. Um, I like to go for more gentle cleansers because my skin is... She's a sensitive lady. Right now I'm using the Glossier Jelly Milky Cleanser. It doesn't do a good job of taking off makeup on its own, which I would do because I do a double cleanse method, but it just does a good job of gently cleansing everything else. So that's really nice. And this is what my skin looks like straight out of the shower. My nighttime routine consists of some kind of an exfoliating solution. I like to use something with HAs and BHAs and PHAs. So this is the Glossier one. You can get this for much cheaper if you just get the Glossier one. It's cheaper and I think it's even better. The equivalent of this from The Ordinary is essentially what got rid of my texture on my forehead. So if you have any problem with texture, you can just get that toner from The Ordinary and I'm 99% sure it will do something, so give it a try. It was my magical product that like transformed my skin, so I'll be going back to it because it's my pride and joy, my true love. But this one has like one of those bad boys, but it means you have to use cotton pads. Like you don't have the choice of not using cotton pads because you can't unless you unscrew it and then that's a whole mess. Obviously I will avoid this area because it's gonna sting. Do very soft cotton pad. This helps to exfoliate the skin, get rid of dead skin. Take new skin out into the world. Um, obviously you have to then be careful with the sun if you're using things like this, um, which clearly that's disappointing. I thought this year I was gonna go through unscathed but the sunlight once again has proven to me that I am not who I thought I was. Then I like to go in with a little bit of eye cream again. Once, I, once again, you don't need this. Don't do it to yourself. I feel like whenever I watch these videos, it seems like someone's dragging really hard across their skin, even when they're not, because you can't like feel the slip through the camera, but there is a slip going on, so don't worry, I'm not dragging on my eyes. Then I like to take, once again, the face cream. Drunk Elephant are very much known for like making skincare smoothies where you mix a lot of different ingredients that suit your current needs into one smoothie and you use that on your skin. So if your skin's more dry you're going to do a more like hydrating, moisturising smoothie and then if your skin has some problem areas you're going to do a more exfoliating smoothie. If I'm not using this I'm having some kind of a problem area I will go in with the retinol they have. This is expensive but you end up using, they tell you to use a pea-sized amount, so this whole thing is going to last you absolute 
years it's probably going to expire before i even get the chance to think about using it up and you'll mix this with your face cream it'll make your face cream look kind of yellow this actually has natural spf inside of it it has photo protective xanthophils which helps to protect your skin afterwards from the sunlight it's basically what's in plants when plants have to protect themselves from the sunlight it's the same thing because i used this today i'm not going to go in with retinol plus i don't have much going on right now that i need to take care of the second thing i can mix into my face cream which i do pretty much every day is the be hydro intensive serum which basically just adds extra hydration like an extra it uses the words quench and illuminate so if that you know, that kind of speaks for itself. It's basically just a way to get more hydration out of your products. Do you need this? No, because you can just get hyaluronic acid. It'll basically do the same thing. You put on hyaluronic acid and then put your face cream and it basically just gives you extra hydration. That's the tea. I also mix in, I usually mix the three together. So I'll do my face cream, mix them with a pump of this and mix them with three drops of face oil. This is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. Um, It is what it says. But you can get something for a fraction of the price from The Ordinary. I used the Rose Hip Oil, which basically works the same way. So now let's put this more affordable skincare routine together. You're going to use that hyaluronic acid face cream, which already has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's as if you had already mixed these two together, but it's all in that one product. And then you take your Rose Hip Oil from The Ordinary, which is going to replace this and you're going to mix it in with that face cream you're going to give it a good mix and then put it on your face and you're going to basically get the same effect as me mixing in these three together so we're going to do that now so once again we do a little squirt one pump of this one two three and you get something along those lines um oh moisturize my poor nose so i hopefully don't stop peeling oh my god if my skin starts peeling oh nose 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 i think we're done see my skincare routine very simple i switch it out as much as I need, I switch it out to fit my needs. Wow, am I a poet? Is that what happened in those last few seconds? Oh, okay. Yeah, I switch out products as I kind of feel. Like, you just have to kind of understand your skin a little bit. I think once you understand if your skin's dry, combo, or oily, uh, what your problem areas are, and how you can tackle them, you can kind of switch out products as you feel necessary. But until you know those, that information, it will just be trial and error. I know my skin's combo now. I didn't know that a few years ago, so that's really cool to know. So I kind of use products that are neither too stripping or too far there. But to be fair, I do pull more hydrating with my products because I love the like glass skin, dewy look. So that's what my skin looks like after I'm done with it. Not too greasy or anything. I actually, for a while, used also the Drunk Elephant Overnight hydrating mask but I ran out of it and then quarantine started and I was like I guess I'm just going to use up the products I have at home but that was really cool that was an overnight mask that you'd kind of use to seal in all your skincare that you put on and then you go to sleep with that you wake up extra hydrated and extra dewy but I really liked it and I'm probably going to repurchase it I also use the Glossier face masks one of them is a clay mask and one of them is a moisturizing mask I love both of them, I really do. The moisturising face mask saved me when I was ill and from wiping my nose, my skin was like, my nose was like completely crusted over with just skin, like dead skin. And it pretty much saved my skin completely. Um, and then the clay mask is gentle enough that it doesn't irritate my very, very sensitive skin, but it still gets the job done of getting all the dirt out of my pores. It works for me. So those are the face masks that I use. I don't really use anything else. And that's basically all the products that I switch out and switch between I do the face masks maybe once a week if I remember to I do the clay mask keep on for 20 minutes take it off put on the moisturizing mask keep on for 20 minutes take it off and then I'm good to go do like a day in lockdown self-care kind of a video I think that'll be quite fun to hang out so I might do the face mask then stay tuned but that's pretty much all the ingredients I have I think this is very boring um because I think people expect like insane skincare why did my bed make such a noise? Uh, like something sometimes people expect like crazy ingredients and 15,000 products. Cause you see that sometimes, sometimes I watch those like get unready with me and they're using 
like a, a toe cream, a nose cream, an under eye cream, a chin cream, a cheek cream, 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 a neck cream. People have separate neck creams. And I thought having an eye cream was like going above and beyond. So yeah, my skincare routine is very simple compared to them, but I think it works for my needs. And if you have similar problem areas or similar skin to me, then get on with this skincare, be my guest, or any of the alternatives that I suggested because they are way more reasonably priced than any of this stuff. You don't have to do this. You can just do the alternatives and you'll be fine. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, anything comment down below, and subscribe because I post videos whenever I find a video to film. So hit that bell, you'll be notified when that's happening, and I'll see you in my next one. Good night. <laughs>